What's up guys? So today I'm going to be once again opening up this Autel Evo 2 Pro Rugged Bundle and we're just going to open it up again and I'm going to show you guys how to update the firmware on the drone and the remote and I still haven't flown this yet uh, because I don't have my license to fly it yet and yeah you can watch the video if you want to but anyway so I'm going to show you guys how to update the firmware on it and I haven't done it yet so we'll just figure this out together So there's actually two ways to update the firmware. The first way is to connect up a phone to the remote and open up the Autel Explorer app and download the update through that and then it will update the system. The way I'm going to do it, uh, which is the second way, is you just download a upgrade firmware file to the SD card and when you put that in and link the remote to the drone then it will begin updating so let's get started so the SD card slot is on the left side of the drone you just pop the little rubber cap and press on the card and it pops out so here it is now all you need to do is just plug this uh, with an adapter into your computer and download uh, link in the description down below um, to the downloads page for the newest firmware you just put that file onto the root directory of the SD card and then we'll just plug that back into the drone. You just slide it into the slot after you upload the file to it and you close the slot and now we're ready to move on to the next step. Also you do want to make sure that both the remote battery and the battery on the drone are pretty full so they won't run out of battery while you're doing the firmware update that wouldn't be good and also you must remove the propellers uh, well you don't have to but it's always a good idea just in case for some reason it messes up and one of them spins that way you won't get hurt so in order to remove them uh, there are instructions on the top of the propeller and you just follow those so basically you hold this rotor still and push down on the propeller and turn and there it is there we go all the propellers are off now we'll set those aside for a bit and I just realized when I did this that some of the propellers unlock one direction and some of them unlock the other direction so you just look at the instructions on the particular one and when you put them back on make sure to match a white ring around it uh, with a white ring around the motor so anyway now let's turn them both on so we'll always want to turn the remote on first that way the aircraft will never be without signal so let's press the power button and pull it. Okay, nice. I'm gonna pull up the handles. Nice. Okay. We'll wait for that to turn on. It says powering up. And 97% battery on this remote. That's good. And connecting to the aircraft. So now I'm just going to press and hold the button on the battery to turn on the aircraft. Mm 
Nice! Connected. They connected first impressions with this thing being on for the first time. It's actually pretty loud, just not even um, running. The fans are super strong in there, and there's a lot of blowing out the back here. That's pretty cool. And there it is. It's just doing it automatically. Downloading firmware. Alright, I left for a bit and came back, and now the screen says upgrade successful, reboot RC, uh, remote control, and aircraft before use. So, let's do that. Uh, hold this button to turn off the aircraft. And hold this the power button on the remote to turn the remote off. And then I just realized um, I forgot about this. Um, it probably wasn't necessary right now, um, but it's important to remember to take off your camera gimbal before you fly. And I probably should, you should just take it off before you even turn it on at all so that way you don't ruin the camera gimbal because wow, that would be very bad. Uh, now, just put the propellers back on. 